Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided that I'm going to start working on the week ahead for June 8th through the 14th. I'll get back to the three month forecasts here when I'm done this segment. So, what do we have for the sign of Taurus? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of June 8th through the 14th. So, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. Get an overall energy. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? For the week of June 8th. This is just going to be an overall energy. Something you're going to be dealing with this week. June 8th through the 14th. One card, please. Oh, a brunette female. So there's a brunette female in the house or around that is going to be affecting your life. This could be anybody, but this is going to be very prominent. Somebody that is a brunette, dark haired. Whoever this woman is, she is very mature. Now she could have had dark hair at any time in her life. Okay. Um, whoever this woman is, she is very, very mature. So it could be you, somebody you're dealing with, somebody that the person you're questioning is dealing with. Either way, this brunette female is playing a significant part. And it could be you. It could be you. And, you know, we can all change our hair color. So keep that in mind. Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. And Sunday. What do we have for Sunday? Now let's get an overall energy with these cards. An overall energy for Taurus for the week of June 8th. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, Five of Swords reversed. Now, this is about being happy. This is uh, walking away from something, choosing not to fight. There, was some, there could be a hostile situation here because the Five of Swords can be a very hostile situation. And this is choosing to walk away from it. I'm not going to fight with you. I just want to be happy. This is letting go of ego. Letting go of the need to prove them, to prove yourself. So somebody is letting go of the need to, you know, I don't need to prove myself. I don't want to fight with you. I am moving on. So that is the... It looks like that is the, uh, I'm, go I'm walking away from this troublesome situation. I'm getting out of here. Something like that. So this is the week of June 8th. Um, so let's talk about Monday. King of Swords reverse for the Wheel of Fortune. Now the King of Swords reverse is a lack of clarity. This could be abuse, uh, psychological abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse, neglect. This person is a bully. They're mean. They're cold. They don't communicate well or they don't communicate at all and changing your direction. You know, uh, this is a change of course. Ending a chapter with an individual that is a bully. This person is mean. Um says things without thinking, uh, is abusive. So somebody is ending a chapter, um, turning the page, uh, making a choice, I think, to go in a new direction, uh, moving away from somebody that is uh, cold and withdrawn and hard to deal with. This person is very hard to deal with, that you can't uh, reason with this person at all. Very, very... Um, argumentative put it that way selfish so I think on Monday this is ending that cycle with that person deciding to uh, go in a different direction so making the decision I think that whoever you're dealing with is abusive you know it's it's going in a different direction Tuesday 
Three of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. Now this is celebrating. We're talking about the week of June 8th. So this is celebrating, having fun, socializing, uh, receiving something, um, receiving a gift from somebody, uh, having fun. Somebody is going to be uh, receiving something that they deserve. It's going to be a happy day or a happy night or a happy time. Um, could be um, going out with friends or hanging out with friends or uh, friends giving you their attention or somebody is giving you some attention. This is, this is uh, definitely having fun on Tuesday. It feels like there was uh, one person, maybe it's this one, that was giving you crumbs. Somebody was giving you crumbs. Um, but there's, there's other people around. There's other people around here. Perhaps you are going to be out having fun and deciding not to give this bully any of your attention by the looks of things. You know, this is, uh, somebody is going to be getting what they deserve. There's gifts. These are both gifts. Somebody is going to be getting a gift. This is a gift. This, this, the, both of these cards represent a gift. So on Tuesday, somebody may be getting a gift of some sort. There could be some drinking going on. Somebody keeps bringing the drinks. <laughs> there could even be a reunion. There could be. <laughs> I think I needed to get another card for Tuesday. Somebody is going to be receiving something. They're going to be receiving uh, something that's going to make them really happy, whatever it is. Ah, stressed out. Regrets. Somebody is regretting giving you, also on Tuesday, somebody's regretting giving you some crumbs. They're regretting it. Now they may be reciprocating, wanting a reunion. Well, son of a gun, take a look at that. Now this can go vice versa. This is regrets, uh, anxiety, depression. Um, definitely regretting not giving to you when they should have. Somebody is probably hoping for a reunion. One more card for Tuesday. What the hell is going on? This could be very worried. Anxious. Not prepared. Lack of foresight. Somebody is not prepared. They were not prepared. They didn't see. They didn't see somebody's value. And they gave them crumbs. And now they're out celebrating and partying and having fun with somebody else. And they probably regret it. So there could be somebody watching another person, you know, socializing, having fun, getting, getting gifts from somebody else or getting attention from somebody else. Tuesday is a day of um, perhaps somebody's been wasting time with this individual. Done wasting time. I'm going to go have some fun. Tuesday looks to be a day of fun, but be careful. You could regret it. Just being honest with you. This could go many, many ways. It could be. Now, this is a three, and this is a three, so we could have something about a third party here. Hmm. So, let's see. Tuesday looks like you're going to be receiving something that you might probably have been waiting for gonna make you really happy but you may not be happy with it in the morning <laughs> sorry that just came out of my mouth uh, Wednesday Wednesday page of cups reversed in the hero font so unrequited love could be dealing with Taurus could be dealing with a Pisces cancer Scorpio we're talking about Wednesday here we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Wednesday, there's uh, bad news or uh, somebody's bubble gets burst. This person, you know, isn't looking for a commitment. <laughs> Seriously, 
you could uh, seriously so there there could be something that is happening in regards to a commitment somebody's bubble could be burst somebody that really for sure i mean it looks like on wednesday um somebody's gut may be telling them that this isn't the love that they were looking for or this isn't leading to commitment and they need to believe and have faith that there's a higher power and there's a reason why everything happens Wednesday is a day of listening to your intuition. The Page of Cups reversed is uh, a rejection of some sort. Tears. There could be some insincerity here. Somebody hasn't wasn't sincere. There could be a level of infatuation as well. You may have somebody that is infatuated with with being with you and there's no reciprocation, okay? I feel like there's there's there oh, here on Tuesday somebody's looking for reciprocation. They they may be they may be uh really trying really hard on Tuesday to get your attention or to go have drinks or something like that. And and you could regret it if you do it because I feel like on Wednesday there's like you know you probably know that this isn't going anywhere. You probably feel it. Huh. Hierophant has to do with higher power, churches, mentors. This could be a mentor or somebody that has guided you in the, I mean, because this is not love. We're going to get another card for Wednesday. Um, it's a rejection. Rejection of commitment. No, I don't want a commitment. That's what Wednesday is about. So something about commitment. Let's get one more card. Oh, yeah, it's a no. Nope. Something not getting off the ground. Something not coming, you know, failure. It's That's the failure to launch. It's like... I think we have an end of, on Wednesday. This we have. There's a lack of spark. There's a lack of desire. There's a lack of attraction, and I think that uh, somebody's gut tells them that this isn't going anywhere, and they don't. They don't want it to go anywhere. So they, you know, you know, this is a lack of ambition, a lack of desire, not desiring a commitment or a relationship. On Wednesday, somebody may hear the words, or they may. Uh, be told through their gut or their intuition or from somebody that they trust that, you know, this could be a confession, okay? This hair font could be a confession. No, I don't, I don't want this. I, it's not what I'm looking for. So that could ha be happening on Wednesday. Uh, no growth, no fertility, lack of fertility. Um, now this could even have to do with a child, Okay, a child could get really upset over a commitment or something like that because this is a child and, um, you know, no, no desire, no ambition, no drive. Don't do it. Don't do it. That kind of energy with the Ace of Wands reversed. Not excited about this. Feeling weighed down, weighed down by commitment on Wednesday. So I think Wednesday, there will probably be talks of commitment and there may be a, a unrequited love situation where somebody says that they have no more passion or desire to uh, be in this, whatever it is. <laughs> Thursday, Four of Swords reversed and the Ten of Cups. Now the Four of Swords is extremely exhausted, very, very tired needing to take a break from a relationship. So we got somebody here that, you know, um, is probably maybe even their health may be declining with the four of swords reversed. You know, feeling very frustrated, experiencing some health issues. Stress causes health issues. So I think that uh, we have there, it feels like this week, there is turbulence or tension within a relationship. And I think that there is a brunette female that is involved or a dark haired female. This is a mature woman. So it's an older woman. It's not somebody that is young. This woman it may be the one that is giving somebody some guidance. Okay. This could be a mentor or a counselor or somebody is, is getting, or 
maybe it could even be somebody that's passed away. Okay, if you think about this, this hair font card is pointing up to heaven. You know, this brunette female could be a mother that's passed away or somebody, because this is guidance. I feel like it doesn't have to be. This could be somebody in this lifetime as well. I think somebody is being guided by somebody that they believe in to uh, move, to move and follow their gut and um not stay in a situation that has no more life in it that is weighing them down somebody is being guided to move on from that situation that's what i see for this week just being honest with you thursday this is ex tired needing to sleep maybe wanting to sleep on it you know needing to think about the relationship thursday is going to be a day of feeling exhausted probably mentally exhausted over you know, uh, the completion. If you see, what, see what's mirroring each other, okay? We have two tens. They're both, this is a completion of a cycle in somebody's life. And that is mentally exhausting. So I think it starts out, you know, as troublesome. I do. I think there's been a lot of fighting. There's been belittling. It's been a constant battle. There's been power struggles with who's in control and whoever you're dealing with. This person may have light colored hair. They had light colored hair at one time in their life. This person is abusive. I feel like this person is very abusive. Um, could have dark hair colored hair as well. Doesn't matter. But this person is abusive. This person um, wants to win at all costs. They don't care who they hurt. It, they, they, you know, like to fight. They like to battle. And I think it's walking away from this person. You know, I'm not. I don't have to prove anything to you. I'm not going to prove anything to you. This cycle is over. This season is over. Okay. This season is over by the end of the week. Okay, it is. So I feel like this is a week of, um, you know, by Thursday, it's like I'm tired, exhausted from the drama, perhaps, but that somebody is causing, you know. It's almost like they don't want to accept the, the, the rejection or whatever it is. They don't want to accept the... The fact that there's no desire, there's no attraction. This is an unrequited love situation. The Page of Cups reversed with the Ace of Wands reversed. It is. There's no desire, there's no attraction, there's no chemistry, okay? But somebody has was in a commitment, somebody wants a commitment. So anyway, I think on Wednesday you're going to be talking about the commitment, thinking about the commitment. On, Friday, on Thursday it's extremely exhausted over the whole the ending because tens are completions. So... Um, Yeah. Somebody wants a relationship. It's like, oh, this is a one-sided situation. One person wants a relationship. The other does not. So, uh, Friday, this is moving in a new direction, following your gut, choosing to be alone. The high priestess um, ha is very observant. She's very reflective. She's very... Uh, intuitive, she's distant, she's spiritual, she has a divine connection, she knows, she follows her gut, she knows it's time to move on, so I think we, and, and usually the high priestess chooses to be single, she does, very often she chooses to be single, she's definitely not going to settle, she's wide awake, she's not going to settle for something that isn't, uh, going to be successful, she knows if it's going to be successful, Somebody could actually be moving or traveling or going someplace on Friday. Um, getting in the driver's seat. Somebody could actually be coming to this person as well, showing up on their doorstep. You know, they may be coming to this person and... Um, you know they're ready. They're 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 going to take the, they're going to take charge of the situation. Could be a Cancer, doesn't have to be. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Pisces. Um, somebody is headed towards an, a very spiritual person who uh, has a divine connection. So on Thursday we have an arrival for this high priestess. Somebody is is coming up. They're they're coming up. They're coming into her uh, space. That's what it looks like to me. I think it's the same person. I think it's the same person that this guy's going to take the bull by the horns per se. It's like he's 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 going to take charge of this situation. He wants a victory and there's no stopping him. So I think we have an individual that is is headed towards this divine uh person and they are uh willing to 
face any opposition. And this this one is is very very. This could be a tarot reader, or a mere uh, medium, a psychic, whatever. She chooses to be alone rather than settle for anything that isn't, uh, you know, on her path. She knows what lies ahead for her path. She feels it inside. She listens to her gut. She or he. The high Priestess is a very intuitive being that has made a decision to um, it feels like be alone or to follow their gut. Again, we have a we very self-sufficient. So on Friday, this is mastering emotions, getting in the driver's seat, taking a ride towards, somebody is taking a ride towards the high priestess. Driving, driving to her. Taking the lead, taking charge. Finding the willpower and the discipline and the courage to do it. Moving forward. I gotta see what else we got for Friday. Moving. Moving towards the high priestess. Somebody's moving towards the seizing the opportunity. This in in the upright, this is not taking it, not interested. The high priestess may have a new opportunity, or the this whoever it is. So this is seizing a new opportunity, interested. This is the end of stagnation, moving forward. Looking forward now, finding the mental strength to move forward. So somebody is finding the mental strength to move towards this person. This is an energy of, this is a healer. Very interested. They weren't interested before, but they are now. So huh, who, what the heck is this chariot? Oh, God. This is a, this is a, I don't know, maybe a Capricorn. Whoever this person is, there's a strong bond. It's, it's probably not a healthy one. Um, this person may be obsessed. They're obsessed or they're addicted or they're codependent and they want to be accepted. So there's definitely uh, some sort of, it could be a sexual attraction. Um, lust. Obsessed. We have an obsession here. Somebody is obsessed and they want to be chosen. They're not going to give up. On Friday, this person may show up. They may show up. They may... Um, oh, I don't know. It feels like it's an obsession. This person is obsessed. They want to be heard. They want to be seen. angry they it could be some anger here this person somebody could be angry they're gonna try to tempt her the, the high priestess is very seductive very seductive so this 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 seductress is going to be tempted by and she's going to be very interested She's, so, I don't know what the hell is going on on Friday, but somebody could be taking a ride with somebody and uh, getting themselves bound to an unhealthy situation. So, be careful. Somebody could be taking a ride and end up in, you know, an unhealthy situation, put it that way. It's, it's a very uh, lusty energy, sexual energy. Okay, so... Friday looks as though somebody may be taking a ride into something that uh, they get tied to, they get bound to, and you know, uh, they can't resist. It's irresistible. So Friday looks a little uh, interesting. Um, yeah, so good luck with that. Saturday. Saturday, Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Nine of Wands. Now this is wounded. Expecting trouble, being on the defensive, on the lookout.
not putting in irresponsible, not putting in effort, being irresponsible, dropping out, obsessed. So what the hell is going on here? This is Saturday. This is expecting somebody to give up. On Saturdays, we may have somebody here that is fearful that whoever they dealt with on Friday isn't solid isn't solid that they're going to give up. This is this is somebody who has a lot of life experience. They're going to give up. So this could be fear on, on Saturday. We could have a, this person is expecting an, another individual, individual to give up. There could be some jealousy or um, fear or, you know, this, this could be an experienced individual knowing that they engaged over here with an individual that isn't solid. This person is unhealthy. They're a slob. Uh, they're cheap, they're greedy, they don't have anything financially stable to offer. This person has no long-term plan. You know, this is, the, so I think on Saturday, this is expecting this person to uh, not put in any effort. And feeling the, the wounds of engaging from the day before. So probably, you know, like, oh shit, what did I do? And I feel like that is definitely a theme of the week. <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah, working together, working together with somebody who's not putting in effort on Saturday, you know, communicating, compromising, but fearful of getting hurt by somebody who's not going to be putting in effort. So I think on Friday you may do something that is, you know, it's all fun and games. But on Saturday, you're like, oh no, what did I do? Is this person, you know, you may be fearful that you made a mistake. On Sunday, on Sunday, we have the King of Pentacles. A lot of you are dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn or a Taurus or a Virgo. That's what it looks like to me. On Sunday, this, you know, I feel like... Uh, you're going to be thinking about whether you want to continue to invest in this or not. You're going to be um, needing to uh, really think about whether you want to uh, give this any more of your time and energy. You're going to need to be practical and you're going to be thinking about your future. See, so, you know, Sunday you're really going to be thinking about long-term stability. You're going to be thinking about whether you want to put in effort. You think about 7 plus 1 equals the 8 of Pentacles. And I think whoever you're dealing with is also going to be thinking the same thing. I think you're going to be receiving um, something from this person that is absolutely real. And you may be really worried that, you know, they're not going to... Uh, that they're not being real. You may be worried about that because of your past experiences. I, I think there's there's a couple different options here. I think there's 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 somebody in the past that abused you, and you and you're ending a cycle with that. There's some sort of mental abuse or psychological abuse, and you have another opportunity here with somebody else. That's what I feel like this is, and I think because you've been so wounded, you're just like, oh my god. And maybe this is a rebound kind of thing. You know, you're rebounding from that person that abused you, and you and you jump into something very uh, attractive you know, to fill that void and then you get caught up in it and, you know, that's what it looks like this week is about. So, uh, good luck.